I am going to create another image script here. So, which should navigate you to redirect to Okay, so here, right? So I am actually taking this URL where URL URL is equal to. So I'm actually taking the URL in the strings. Okay. So this CSID, this CSID, we need to make sure that that is actually dynamic. If you don't make this dynamic, it will always redirect to the same record, 1341. So then what I am supposed to do is, I am supposed to make this CSID as dynamic. So how am I making this CSID as dynamic is that plus, okay, current dot CSID. Current dot CSID means Whatever the record major issue record that you are working on, right? That particular major record CSID you are actually getting. So here we have actually current object available, right? I'm actually using current data CSID. Okay. So here, right, we have to make this one as well dynamic, instance ID as well, ID as well dynamic. So why do we have to make instance ID as dynamic? Because you have to move your development from one instance to another instance. Their instance name will get changed. Then your logic will not work. Okay. So if you move this uh, e notification script from uh, uh, dev instance to test instance, right? This script will not work. So that is why we have to make this instance ID as well dynamic. So for that, what am I doing is, So here I am actually calling a property called GS dot get property. Okay. Instance name. Okay. So here I have actually built the URL. I have built the URL. Now we guys have to do one more thing. There is an anchor text in the HTML tag. Anchor tag. Anchor tag in the HTML. So like this one, right? I want to build a URL. So I am actually taking this anchor text here. Okay. Now I am actually going to this URL. So in the template.print, in the template.print, so I am actually keeping this one, anchor text. So in the https.www.w3sports.com, right? In place of this one, I am actually passing this URL. Okay. So now, right, in place of this one, just a minute, guys.
Okay, I have actually passed this URL. Okay. So in place of this visit w3schools.com, right? In place of this one, right? <coughs> so I'm actually showing current dot u underscore number. See what exactly I have done. I have actually taken this URL. Okay, that URL I am actually made. I made it as dynamic. I made it as dynamic. So I have taken the anchor text here. So in the anchor text, when you click on this one, right, it will be navigated to this W3 schools URL. So likewise, in place of this W3 schools, right, I am actually passing the number of the record. So how am I passing the number of the record is that? So current dot u underscore number. So when you click on that number, right, it will be redirected to this URL. So I have actually created a email script now. Okay. This email script, this email script, I am going to call it in the notification body. So how do I call the email script in the notification body? Dollar flower, flower brackets, mail underscore script colon, email script name. Now, if I preview this one, so it is also showing the same number, like same this one. When you click on this one, it will navigate me to service portal, not native UI. So this is actually navigating me to service portal. So when you click on this one, right? So where does it navigate? it will navigate you to the normal native platform. So one is actually navigating you to service portal, one is navigating you to normal native UI. So remember the point guys that you guys have to remember. So we use email scripts to do some advanced things in the email notification. 